Now, after about a week of waiting, my Mono Price Maker Select Mini has come in. If you're unfamiliar with the Maker Select Mini, it's a fairly small printer with the build dimensions of about 4.5 by 4.5 by 4.5 inches. But it's the abilities that this printer has over the build size and the reason why I bought this. Now, the build plate, even though it's small, does have a heated bed, which allows you to print most filaments. Now, I have read and gone ahead and done a little bit of research on this, and some people do have problems with the max temperature on your build plate. And so I've gone ahead and made sure that I've had some build talk and also some flex 3D print bed uh, surfaces to try out with this. Now, here's my video of the unboxing and it's just a quick montage. Your, your basic um, parts are found in this with your pre-assembled ready to print post bed leveling printer. Now the first box you see has just your basic cables, your power supply with your um, very small teaser sample pack. Now the next box you find in this has some of your tools, your hex wrench for leveling the bed and for us it seems like your basic maintenance which fits all of the bolts throughout the printer of what I've found so far. It also includes your plastic scraper which comes in very handy for trying to scrape off some of those uh, tough to get prints. Now what also comes in the box is a mini SD cord and a mini SD as it doesn't run off of your normal USB or SD cards like some of your larger printers do but you have to remember this is a low budget printer so they're not going to have all the fancy things. Now, this is my first print and the first print I'm running is actually Filamentive's Silver PLA. Now to get this printer up and running was fairly simple. All you have to do if you follow the instructions is level the bed which also disregards the very first instruction they give you to not remove the tape which you have to remove to level the bed which has started to cause some uh, corners peeling up but that's not too big of a deal as it's only the corners and I've already planned on using my flex 3d print bed or maybe even some build talk instead of this standard masking tape, but for the first print I decided to go with the masking tape. Now, I also did do a little bit of maintenance on this before I got this done, before I got this printing here, and that was just to check the, temp, uh, the tension on the belts as you can see here, and also check the tension on the extruder and a few other parts, and I actually found that everything was set perfectly, and I never had to make any alterations to this and just level the bed to get this first print going. Now, a nice thing I like about this printer that's actually slightly rare for a printer of this price range is that it comes not only with an LCD controller to control your temperatures and to run an SD card through, but it also has a heated bed. And that's something very rare that I have found for a printer in the sub 400 price range that isn't a kit which makes this very nice for someone who's trying to get into 3D printing as you can basically print anything you want ABS, PLA, any composites and also allows you to really use your full creative range and even print with some of the copolyester carbon or color fab filaments now another nice thing about this printer it's made out of really thick, solid aluminum, which is really nice because that's not something you see a lot, especially in this sub-200 price range, as the Hobby King printer is made out of laser-cut acrylic, which can cause some problems. Now, I've run about six hours over two prints so far, the first being a skull that I printed about the whole width of the print bed. As you can see, there's some quality... Um, defections in it and there's a Z wobble. Now the next prints I've done are is a print bed full of Marvins in an SD block and the Marvins have different qualities to them as I ran them at different speeds and different settings just to test out the print as you can see here.
Now, if you've enjoyed this video, or you have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to comment below. And please check out the full review at my site at 3dpgeek.com. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. Thank you.